despite the progress made, African countries are still far from achieving women's equal and effective participation in political decision making. Liberia is no exception, as cultural norms, traditional beliefs, and recent violent conflicts have often limited women's opportunities to contest for public space. We interview Honorable Victoria Woluwa Duncan, former female candidate, Maggie County, District No. 4. She explained her experience in the just in the election. I will first start with the, the legislature and, and those who are seated, you know, in the House of Represent Representatives as well as the House of Senate. But I think we need to look at our election law in Liberia, especially when it comes to trucking, mm. taking people from out of other places and bringing them into that constituency in order to influence the decision of the people that is wrong. There are, there are places that some candidates won, they would not have won if they had not trucked people in, meaning that they were against the will of the choice of the people. They dominated it, they influenced it, they manipulated the system, which is very wrong. So if the, the women and men that are sitting in the House of Representatives, we are now talking about a new Liberia. We are talking about having a government with respect, having a government of integrity, having a government to be trusted. The House of Representatives is not, you know, um, out of the government. They are also part of the arms of the government. So it would just be good to bring a proper, you know, a starter among them to get them some credibility. And so that our government, our representative will be respected. If they can just work, if we can propose, I think that can come down on the floor. It is some, somebody watching me can listen to me and just make it a part of the proposal to the, 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 the National Election Commission or to, to the House or bring it on the floor for discussion while it's going to be a referendum or whatever. That on the day of registration, counties should be educated. Districts should be educated not permitting people from outside of your county and outside of the district to come and influence your decision as to who you want to represent you. In an interview with Madam Jackie M. Gray, she explained the difficulties faced as a female candidate contesting on a political party's ticket. It was not easy, it was challenging. Because as a single mother to go to election, went through the women as a whole. We have about four women in the district. And I tell God, thank you that our name was able to be here. No money. And the people of the district they expect you to pay their toilet, pay their house, pay their pump, to everything as a Kennedy. So if you don't get the money to do it, they made us say, you ready here for the vote? Okay. So we went through the challenge because there was no money. But it was challenging that a lot of female dropped along the way because there was no money. We went through all the training from the UN Women, NDR, trained us, but were not able to make it. Some women were not able to make it because it was so challenging. No money. There was no help for anyone that coming to the female. Even down to the political party and then we join. After struggle we went in. We went in it on our own. Special me. I went on it on my own. No political party helped me. From Bond County, we interviewed Madam Fawada T. Kopa, former representative candidate of District No. 5. She said most females lost the election because of the male candidate financial influence against female candidate during the electoral process. In the election, my own experience I've been having, they always use women against women. You know, the women are pretty well the men. So that most of the time you see the very women gain women leadership. The women dance, the Lila women grew, but my women grew because you know, for, we are better people. So you see, Lila women, for my, this women group. But they're doing the election. There, there is no 
go to uh, awareness. You will see our women's now, you will give us now one thing that I found. So even the leader of that group, in that thing that I found, you will be getting a leader. She will go to the world, we need to go to 50 or 100 of you. See, we're going to kill most of But not new. You are already getting the women group here, one little fool. Or maybe friend of her in the way, loving to her or something. She has to encourage her other friends to just vote for that person. We concluded a focus group discussion for female stakeholders in Maggie and Bond County. Thank you so much. So we we'll start with our first question. And it says here, do you believe that gender discrimination plays a major role in the honor representation of women in leadership or political position? Gender discrimination is one of the very key factors that limits women. They hinder their advancement when it comes to public office. That is, when you are a female, you want to partake in the public leadership or position, especially in politics in, in our setting. Sometimes people go out to decal your past life. There are some things that you know, used to be part of you, and then people will try to bring it out. And because women are people that are very sharp, sometimes when people say those things, you become very furious and then you get a friend. You don't want your name. You don't want people to say certain things about you. So it really, really is a key factor. And sometimes in the very offices, you even try to get there. You find your way through and, and get there. You will find the, the male opponent will try to suppress you in all ways. Sometimes they will say, oh, you are a woman. You, you come here to come tell what to do. And when you take it from a educational side and go to the tradition side some places they will say that men are discussing something here when you say woman she told you so you will find out that it will limit and it can hinder their advancement so they always want to go back because they feel that whenever they want to go ahead people will try to suppress them so yes it is the men and the woman or women and men working in the same office begin to say that even if the man was seeking for a job in mm -hmm. the my name, eh? mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> My name is Mother Esther G. S. Clark, the real me president, Maggie B. Chapter. I'm saying sometimes and not only the political time, but so, sometimes the woman was seeking for a job, the man was seeking for a job. Blessedly, the both of them got a job. And they're doing the same work. Sometimes the woman know a more than the man say. But when it comes to salary, the man's salary can sometimes be higher than the woman. And what about the man holding responsibility in his home, the woman also holding responsibility in her home. But because of that barrier is hindering the women, women, what a job, where they got area. Those are the things that some of the barrier. How important do you think is it to have equal representation of women in leadership or political position? You ready? My name is Patience Signidon. You see, the executive, executive director in front of the Part Empowerment Initiative, where we focus on women and children education. So, for me, the importance of women into political position is 100% important. We get a saying that when you educate a woman, you educate a whole nation. Women get a whole lot of responsibility. As a female, you get a whole lot of responsibility. When you're into a political part and, and position, you will know, you will know the, 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 your responsibility. You will work in line with your responsibility. Sometimes people say we want equal participation. Well, there are two ways. Your participation can be passive, it can be active. You could be here, yeah, we attended the program. Women participated. But when it comes to what really happened, how important it is, that's where the critical area is. And if you must navigate, if you must find a way forward for women full, equal, and active participation, there's a need for us to look at it from all ends. 
the issue of equality in politics is important and unless we attach so much importance as being active they involve in things that will bring women on board and ensure that they are elected to political positions we still will discuss and then we haven't gone anywhere yes we know finance play a major part in political processes from the day you decide to say i want to till the day you are either elected or rejected or you are not successful it's money that runs it because i hear people many times i remember this 2023 campaign do at the time i was kind of down and be but whenever i talk about women but but you know why women ain't got to offer anybody the women ain't got money so that the one who come into here that drives us to record on in our setting but women need to be economically empowered the importance is that when women are equally represented at the table to discuss issues that affect people it has more weight there is no man with no prejudice with no disrespect no man in here knows what it means to go to give child to be in labor go to child birth and you have a cesarean session with a scars on you and you lost that child no man around the table will understand the context in which you speak and the pain i wish you felt as a woman it may not be you directly but the fact that another woman has had such it brings pain to her a mother sees her children not in school or because she can't afford school fees it's also a serious issue but unless they are at the table they are discussing and like one time a group of rep, our uh, lawmakers were together and i was privileged to have been a mess so when one of them said something the other one said don't you waste your time because you know at the end of the day we are going to vote all they're talking you're talking is about numbers and as long as you can get a number that thing will not work and definitely as they said we need our share we want our share when you can't get my share there will be no peace so at time like for me this time to just walk on the road in the night and be afraid hmm. yes because of the attack coming up and many females went into the process but they were like unable that's why i said well, financial strength and some people have the belief they thought that you and women are going to give good money it was because of this more candidate more female went into the rest thinking that you and women are going to give all money for getting to know it against NEC looks you don't receive money from any foreign country you know to go into the process with it so some people when at the end of the day they never receive that money they fell with it they sat, they sat back without going into the process to complete. And for me, I was not really deep into the process because I fought it and ill. I was affected by African sun and then I was taken into the safe wish for some time where my campaign was set. The opening of my campaign was set for the 26th. But I left in a safe bridge, the town got expired. When I came back, I tried to add net to give me one day at least to call my people together and then talk to them. They said the days were occupied. So I really know what I'm keeping. Former candidate Cecilia Kedo from District Number no. 2, Mikey B County, said women face physical violence and insults for male candidates during their just ended election. The most challenge that I faced was um, um, the political fight in my giving from the background of my own party. Yes, that was a huge fight that um, gave her a tough time. But for our body, uh, it's usually on women. I'm blessed that I, I didn't waste my time in, you know, in a lot of extravagant life when I was much younger. So they tried to dig up negative issues that for me would just be difficult. So I was blessed in that life, I was not put in. Um, but my own challenge has to do with, she doesn't have money. She doesn't have money because everything that you do in politics has to do with money. Yeah, so I want to let's go. That if, because research are proving that with women leadership um, um, in politics, um, it will mean well for the country because women are less corrupt and, um, they will all be ashamed of 
doing those things that men do and go away with it, without remorse. So, if they want for women to step up, you saw a lot of women, we have 159 women that contested in La Bureau de Bon Election mm -hmm. from, yeah. So, um, don't be surprised that you may see the rate dropping because it was not an easy thing, but it's just that when you stand up for an issue, you have to just remain in it for the end of the shame that follows it. So, a lot of constraint. Former female Canadian, Madame Nora F. Copo explained that women are faced with all forms of violence once they express their interest in contesting for public space. One of the most important things is that these day people feel that they must gain their physical cash before they vote for you. The masses of our election these days have become tough. They make the election expensive. But when you look at baby calling from the Bible, you know, it's not so much that we will pay for people before they vote for this. But they, they may feel that they have money, so sometimes they bribe you, they give you $10. Can you imagine on the election day, having road campaign, a launching Kakata, people felt that like, Nathana Mange was launching because he could see the car. People were wondering how the car came about because when we were in the red, people were telling you, oh, where the woman will go? The woman don't get money where she will go, but nobody said any negativity about me. For me, I was so happy. So, on the election day, where some of us never had a funny, we imagine the guy who won the election, Kevin brought three million dollars in our dish pay, paying somebody two thousand dollars just to go get them for individual. It became a challenge for us. So, we were just there asking God for His way because where we are, take two thousand dollars to pay, you know. To pay voters to go vote, it was like a challenge for us. We the female, because if you look at the entire district or the county, most of the female felt that same thing that I was feeling in my district because it takes somebody, some people give you two dollars, you are just to go cash a vote. You know, and one of the things that happening in our country is that the voters have not risen, they have not realized what they call to vote, what they call to vote for leader. Because you see people chop people from favorite, favorite district and bring them in your district, pay them to come forth. The people come and make decisions, then they go sit down, back. Then they just really empty. This is the problem that we face in Liberia. So my recommendation to UN women or the international community is that they should rather stand by or with the female because we stay yummy to take part into the election 2029. But we don't have funding because if they can train us and leave us sometime, we will find it difficult. We have funny, but it will not be much of okay, where we're supposed to go. This project focuses on highlighting a major cause of female less inclusions in leadership. According to the Liberia Institute of Statistics and Geo Information Services, Leaches, the population of Liberia is 5 million people. The National Election Commission final registration rule proves that 2 million. 471,617 registered to vote in Liberia. National Election Commission final voter registration rule also shows that 1,237,257 women registered to vote. This project will identify issues that are causing women not to actively participate in politics and leadership. This project titled The Cost of Less Women in Leadership Position in Liberia is sponsored by the International Women's Media Foundation, the RWMF, and the National Democratic Institute, NDI. Reporting from Liberia, my name is Erita Rene Cruzo, a member of the New Alliance to End Violence Against Women in Politics and Media.